Hi, I'm Wendy and I'm with Debbie. Hi. Again for our every other week taping of Cat Chat here in Medina. And um, it is November 5th, my niece's birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Heather. Heather, happy birthday. And because last show I didn't do a shout out to Dolores, I wanted to do a shout out to Dolores who came in to the new little shop that we have next to this building, like in the building, but Dolores, Hello, I just wanted to do my shout out because I told her I would. <laughs> so, um, Debbie, we are a little a little off kilter today because usually we tape our show on Wednesday, right? So. And we had a we had a time and date adjustment, and so we look like this is how we usually look. Yes, yeah, so we've been cleaning, so <laughs> cleaning, emptying trucks. And if you feel sorry for us, you should come and adapt. Yeah, do you have less cats to clean? No. <laughs> Yeah, but there's we're on a how many month wait list right now? It's about a two to three month wait list now. Um, in, in 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 essence. In essence, I mean there's because when there's be an emergency, emergency we'll squeeze them in. And um, yeah, unfortunately, uh, we got some issues, and all our spots are used up for. But they're, they're resolving. Yeah, they're, they're resolving, you know, and and yeah. they'll be great. But we do have some cats that were. Are ready to go home, especially you know how I feel about the older cats. They are the best. Kittens are sweet, as you can see. I go get you. Settle down. Settle this is Demetrius. Down. Oh, I love Demetrius. He was found at the car, sh uh, not the car shop, the, the the car wash shop on 42 there, and the yeah. guy who brought him in. You know, he was a very nice guy, and I named him after him. Oh. So. <laughs> He's super friendly. He was on home, but they, they did not decide to take him. So he is available. By the time this is filmed, he will be, he's got one more day of meds, and he wants to go and play. He and sees other kitties, and he wants to go play with them. <laughs> you hopper. Hey, Hopper. He's a sweet. Oh, look at That's that. That's a lot of energy oh, right there, I'm going to tell you. He has a lot. Yes, him does. He thinks your legs are trees. Oh. He tries to climb up them. Did you try to climb legs? So, he is a sweetheart. He's an orange tabby, gorgeous, striped, like a mackerel fish. So, that's a mackerel orange tabby. And he's about three months old. Yeah. Let me yeah, have mama. Oh, no. He, you can have him, Mama. <laughs> Um, my favorite. So orange. it's always orange. <laughs> There's no such thing as a solid orange without a tabby. Nope. No such okay. thing. No, no such thing. Solid gray, solid black, solid white, white. <laughs> true, true, true. Um, but, but never solid orange. Orange, even on a calico, if you look at your calico cat, black is black, white is white, orange is tabby. Okay. There's always stripes or spots or m our circles in it. There's just never a solid, solid orange cat, which is a fact. Uh, cat fact. Cat fact. Yeah. So you learn something fact. every time. There you this go. This is Cody. Should I let him go? Yeah. Bye. I'll bye. get him. Pew. This is Cody. Goes. Hi, Cody. He, hi, buddy. He was returned. Oh, he's got a little Thank cold. you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't really get me. <laughs> he, hi, um, buddy. Come here. He's got a little sneeze. He's, he does, he's on meds, but he is returned because he has a lot of energy. He needs probably young kids to wear him out. He's just, you know, he's a little nervous since he's been back and then he got this slight cold. Um, Does they get stressed when mm -hmm. they come here, then stress when they go to their new home, and then stress when they They're come definitely back. Definitely stress when they come back. And that stress drops immunity, and that immu and that that dropping of immunity will allow them to pick up whatever anyone. There could be healthy carriers everywhere. Okay, here she is. This is Aurora. Aurora is. Agorora just. She had babies. Her babies are <laughs> oh, all gone. Love this cat. She was adopted, um, but the gentleman had an older cat that was about eight or nine years old, and she kind of tormented him because she's young and she's playful. She does not torment here. No. Um, she Different environment. Different environment. Different cat. We did a little different. We opened the door now, and they're all running around from two rooms, and she is... An awesome cat. I mean, she she's is gorgeous. Gorgeous. This is called a Dilute Calico. She is medium hair. 
So once I, I don't want to really mess with their tail because that's where you can get the biting and the, yeah, you know, but you can see a little bit longer tail. Usually they have these feathers here and what's called feathers on the back legs, but this is all still short right here. So you've got pretty much, you can get a mane going right here sometimes, sometimes bigger than what she has. But she's just beautiful. So everybody wants to play now. Yeah. <laughs> Get it behind the ears here. But she's a medium-haired dilute calico. So instead of this silver being black, it's gray. And instead of the orange, it's peach. It's kind of a peachish, you know, buff color. Um, they call it, you know, peach, blue, and white is what the technical... Okay. terms are but we it's it's dilute it's like if you poured bleach on the black and the orange you'd get a diluted color beautiful kitty young young mom beautiful green eyes and you can tell when a cat is freaked out um i was thinking about this just today i was thinking you know when a cat when we get mad, sometimes we scowl and our eyes kind of go, you know, you look at someone and you're like, oh, Debbie, I wish you wouldn't, <laughs> you know, do that or say that. We go, mm. When a cat gets mad, they do the opposite. They get, their eyes get really big and they kind of come at you and then their eyes expand and the black part gets bigger and it's completely opposite of when, you know, sometimes we don't come at each other like, ah, yeah. <laughs> Hope not. They, I know, I would frighten people because I have somewhat big eyes, but I've been told. But you can see the blacks in her eyes are slits, and that just means she's calm. So when we see these cats, um, and you can, here, Jared, I'll let you, and by the way, hi, Jared. Hi, Jared. Jared, behind the camera. Um, and I don't know, can you see that, Jarrett? Her eyes and how small the black parts are. Here you go, pretty girl. Here you go. Ooh, pretty girl. And how pretty is that face? That's gorgeous. She is very, very, and she's purring the whole time. Yeah. I'll let her go. She is a gorgeous, she wants to go play with the kids. Um, and you see that slit being really small. That's just a very relaxed face face you know um as they start to gear up for frustration attack anger everything gets bigger and everything starts moving forward so i was talking to my nephew who adopted captain he's a three-legged cat he's missing the one front leg sorry i just hit my mic but he's missing one front leg Captain's growing like a weed right before our eyes. He's going to be enormous. And they live with my husband and I, my niece and nephew. So he's eight, and he just loves this cat. Yes, he does. And I was, I'm teaching him as much as I can about cats, and he loves the cats. So he listens, and he goes, I hear that he goes to school at Cloverleaf. He's, uh, he's eight. And um, he, everybody in his class knows all about cats right now. <laughs> so, hi everybody at Cloverleaf, sorry. <laughs> but uh, his teacher, I guess, told my niece that... Uh, he they, likes to talk about cats. He, he wasn't talks mad, about cats a lot. He was a little nervous with cats, wasn't he? <laughs> he used to be, but yeah. he used to be because he, when he was real little, three or four, um, and they lived in an out of state, some cat attacked him and just a really nasty cat that someone had and he had to get stitches from oh one side of his gosh. head to the next and he was frightened for a while but um he my sister his grandma and her husband have a cat that's just phenomenal maxine maxine and um who they adopted from us way back mm -hmm. and he Anybody can pick up Maxine, and she just, she's like a rag doll. She oh, just, just like, whatever, around. whatever. And she's like 14 pounds, 12, 14 pounds. And thankfully, she had, he had her in his life to not get so afraid, because he could see the difference. So now, he's at my house. They just moved in two months ago, and um, he, we, we had Captain ready for him you know, to have his own kitty. 
and he carries that cat around and that cat just goes whichever way so I was showing him I said now watch captain's over there on the chair I said watch what happens when you dangle a toy I was crocheting him toys the other day and so I go like this and the cat's eyes got really big I said watch his eyes watch his whiskers watch his eyebrows what are they doing and of course he was not really <laughs> getting it he's like they're white <laughs> I said, they're coming forward. They're coming forward at you. Everything about the cat, when they get angry or they hunt, is in forward motion. Whiskers go from here to here. Eye, eyebrows, you know, sometimes they literally come out like that and their eyes get really big. So for the kids out there, you know, watch. Watch your kitty. They're doing very subtle things to us, but in their world, it's night and day. So if somebody had a cat, their own pet cat, and that cat started acting like that, what should, as a cat owner, adult, diffuse the situation to calm that cat down? You know, we don't that's know what made question. it mad. Um, well, sometimes they're just in play mode. They're in play mode. That's different because you can see now everybody, if, well, we can't, but they're all playing because that little kitten's out here and they're yeah. having a blast. <laughs> but So if they're in that mean mood because you don't know exactly what happened, how would be the best way to diffuse that situation? Well, if you have an only cat. If you have an only cat. Um, sometimes the best thing is to just leave the cat alone because there's what's called transferred aggression. And I know people who have gone to the hospital because their cat is looking out the window, sees a squirrel, can't get to the squirrel, is revved up because they want to get to that squirrel, and mommy walks up to the kitty and goes to pet the kitty, doesn't recognize the signs of a fully enga engaged cat, and that cat will, you know, bite right. the thing that's closest to it that's moving, you. And if it's you, you're going to go to the hospital if this cat is enraged enough. And it's called transferred aggression. They want to kill the squirrel. It's their nature and they will get you. My sister once, her cat was looking out the window, sweetest cat and all, um, turned and all four paws went on and around her leg and just started biting and scratching and she had to go to the hospital because she got infected. So just be careful if you have that kind of cat. Not every cat is like that and hardly any cats are like that. No, but I can see but it what can you're be saying. An issue. When they're looking out, you could yep. see we have bird feeders right out here, and you see their tail, and they're scrunched down, and I yeah. just say, okay, I'm leaving you alone. Leave them alone. Not because Taffy right now. That's Taffy. Taffy. Hi, Taffy. She's like, uh, i gotta get, I've got to get cleaned up. Wait, before you take yeah, me, i got to get minute. cleaned up for the show. So. <laughs> that's Taffy. She's awesome. Yeah. Um, but, you, you know, so some of the things that you can do, one, just walk away. Let them have a few minutes. And sometimes when they're rubbed up, they can be rubbed up for days, literally really? days. They can be. It just depends um, if you've got that kind of cat. And it's so rare, like normal cats, that they see something and then they're diverted to something else and they go on to something else, a little bit ADHD. Sometimes if you have that kind of cat, you should probably get feel away and the spray. If you get the diffusers, you're constantly spending money to refill that diffuser that you're plugging in and it's diffusing when you don't need it to be. It's a pheromone, it's a calming pheromone and everybody sells it, all the pet stores, even Walmart sells Feel Away. And, but you can also just get a spray bottle of it. And when you see your cat like that, if you have that kind of aggressive cat that's just like, doesn't come down off that, you know, spray uh what they say is to spray a fabric and then put it by the cat you know or spray the air around the cat but if that cat moves then you've, you've wasted follow, it yeah. so that's why you spray the fabric and if the cat moves you can move the pillow or the towel closer, closer to, to the cat and let it you know smell the pheromones on that otherwise i wouldn't try to pet that cat and the other thing I was thinking that came to my mind too, Debbie, is if you just give it a treat or something. Now, giving it a treat may, may make the cat 
think that you're rewarding its behavior. Right. And so I wouldn't suggest that at all. Um, sometimes the worst thing you can do for a cat is to ignore it, just like a dog. You know, if they have bad behavior and you ignore them, they hate that. You know, I, I just let be, most behaviors go in my house because it's normal behavior for the cat. Right. And you don't want to discipline them for that. No. And, you know. And we, skirmishes when you have a lot of cats are going to happen, gonna too. Happen. So if you have multiple cats. But clearly understood, what we're talking about is your own pet. This is not any ferals that are out there that's not going to spray that stuff is not going to work. No. They're feral for a reason. <laughs> Please understood that this is for your own house pet, yeah. not a colony of cats or that are wild. wild. Please, they're um, wild like raccoon wild, right? And so, they can be extremely dangerous. They could. Here we go, Sleepy. Who is not sleepy right now? No, she's not. She was from. Uh, someone gave us seven kittens, and there were. Six boys, one girl. Uh, so we named them after the seven dwarfs. I have no idea why this one is still here. I oh, mean, she's, she's gorgeous. gorgeous. She's gorgeous. She can be a little bit. Um, she's skittish. She's a little bit. Not... New cats out here. This is a new area. She was in a kitten room. In a kitten room, she's she's like the head honcho. <laughs> so with that and coming out here, she's realizing she's not the head honcho no more. And she's, yes, you know, so she. Uh, but I mean. Gorgeous. So this is a harlequin. She's a harlequin, calico harlequin. Okay, so, all right, so that's okay. good. So why is she a calico harlequin? Well, when they have color on their face and their tail only and the rest of their body is white, that's a van. Okay, that's the color of the cat is a van with calico. This one would be calico. Sometimes it's just black spots here and on the tail. Right. Sometimes it's just gray. Sometimes it's just tabby, orange tabby. Orange, yeah. But this is a calico harlequin because harlequins have one or two, maybe three, maybe three spots on the white. Her spot is right here. And typically they can be heart shaped. Hold on. Kind of heart on. shape. If it's you look quite it. heart shaped and we can sure make it look like a heart, but there's always this divot as if DNA split, you know. But see the heart, Jared, are you kind of getting that? Almost always there's Some a heart. Some figure of a heart. Yeah. On any bi-colored or mostly white cat. So if they're bi-colored, which is half white and half other color, anything at least half white all the way up to the Harlequin, you're gonna see hearts on them. Look for them. They're not always a perfect heart, but you're gonna see a heart shape, um, maybe more than one. But this one certainly is, and I don't know why, but it always starts like that. Sometimes it ends perfectly and sometimes it doesn't, but you'll see that. Um, this little girl is super soft. She's she like is. cotton. Um, but she considers short hair or medium? She, you know, I I thought maybe medium. I'm just going to go with like a bunny. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's how she feels, I'll tell that's you. that's how she feels. She's so soft. If you could feel her, if you, this could be feel-a-vision. Yeah. This, this cat is super soft. But no, she's not uh, medium hair. Her, her tail is just fluffy. Hi, come on up here, handsome. Cody. And um, she's really liking to be pet very much so, and she's um, a lap and I'm enjoying when she's not petting playing. her. Yes, yeah, she is. Um, come and get her. She's just gorgeous. She started out little here. Yeah, they were all little. They were yeah. close to under Aren't two pounds. Aren't you beautiful? Oh, we've got a patch there on oh. her leg. So we've got two spots, and she that still makes her a harlequin. Okay, easy. Let's say goodbye. Say thank you for looking at me. And she's going to be $95, yes. her fully adoption, you know, her full adoption fee, fully vetted, spayed, 
tested oh, everything. Fantastic. And then, of course, Cody came up to say hello. He's a brown tabby, gorgeous orange undertone, brownish to his coat underneath. And, of course, that brown nose that is kind of a dead giveaway, that orange, burnt orange nose. And the hair on top of the nose is brown. Cody, kitty, kitty. Oh, he looked just in time for Jarrett. There you go. Look at that. He's, po he's a poser. <laughs> and uh, he's a tabby, but he's a brown tabby. Most people want to call that a black tabby because of the black stripes, but it isn't. It's the undercoat. And he's going to be a big boy because he he's not be gro boy. done growing, is no, he? No, he isn't. He's just a little over a year. Yeah, he'll probably grow out a little bit more. He's a stocky man, but yes. sweet. He is. Sweetheart. Just a lot of energy. Yeah. Um, so your next segment, we're going to be talking to our awesome volunteer, Joe Cleon. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to be leaving, but I just wanted to mention a couple of things. Um, we do have a, a great volunteer gave us a a donation to use towards adult cats. We only have a couple left, so if you're interested, please come and see our adult cats. It's any cat over a year old. Um, I also want to say to all our volunteers, thank you. Or, yeah, all our volunteers, thank you from the bottom of my heart, but mostly I want to thank the veterans. Uh, Monday will be Veterans Day, yeah. and I want to thank everybody in, that has served or has family members to serve. We thank you. Our freedom is because of you, and um, we love you. And mm -hmm. uh, my husband you know, is a veteran. Yeah, my husband's a veteran. My son's a veteran. My dad's a veteran. I'm an army wife. <laughs> You're an army wife veteran. That's a tough job. So, it was. Um, <laughs> but thank you, everybody. And thank so you. we're going to go to the next segment, Joe Cleanne. Okay. Before we do. Before we do. But before we do, we have an upcoming Santa Claus oh, that's fundraiser. Oh, right. December 8th. Oh, kittens, kittens getting in everything that she's not supposed to. <laughs> December 8th is a Sunday. From 12 to 4, actual Santa will be here. And I'm not kidding, right? He is Santa. He is Santa Claus. Look at our Facebook page. We have pictures of him on there. That is the Santa. He is the Santa who will be here to take pictures of you, your family, your friends, your cats, cats, your iguanas, your goats, your horses, your dogs, whatever you want to bring. We're going to be doing it out in a heated attached garage that we have here. It's right here. I'm telling you, bring all of your pets, your family, whoever, whatever you want to have a picture with Santa. Uh, the pictures will be printed same day. You'll be handed your pictures to go home with. I believe they're $10 a piece. Um, but we're going to have fully decorated Christmas trees to purchase as is, all decorations and all. We're going to have lots of Christmas decorations to purchase, wreaths and things for your door, your table, all kinds of, it's just going to be a Christmas winter wonderland. So come and join us from 12 to 4 here at Kitten Crazy on Sunday, December 8th. And come ready to see Santa Claus. Everybody. And if you watch this show on a regular basis, you've already met Joe Cleon. But for those who have never met Joe Cleon, um, Joe, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Joe is a very good friend of ours. Um, and Joe is a premiere, the premiere, and it's in the Cleveland Plain Dealer as of this <laughs> Sunday. This <laughs> Sunday, you had an article in the Cleveland Plain Dealer um, about your, your uh, photography. Joe is the guy that they call when there is a, a concert in town, especially at the Q, whatever they're calling it now. I can it's, never, always the never. it's always the Q. It's always the Q. Um, and has done concerts and concerts and concerts and has thousands and thousands of pictures over the years and has and comes here to take kitty pictures for us and that's what we post and you have a beautiful yes. um, cat photography house that you've it's a photo it's a kitty photo studio studio <laughs> built just for the cats here just for the cats and uh, but you have this current thing going on then we're going to talk about what you have coming up that yes. is cat, all cat related. Yes, so. I have a gallery going on right now of just my concert photos. Right. Um, with another photographer, a friend of mine, Anastasio Pentios. Um, yes. 
She's photographed 70s, 80s, 90s. I've photographed the last 20 years. Yep. So we literally have 50 years of Cleveland concert photography between yeah, us. Yeah, right. Um, all the big shows in Cleveland, thousands and thousands of shows. And those yes. are being displayed now at 78th Street Studios, which is the art mecca of Northeastern Ohio. It's 1378 Street in Cleveland. Um, there's 45 galleries there. We're on the third floor, and uh, we're going to close on Friday the 15th, which is third Friday. And uh, it's right before Black Friday. Good time to come up, buy some concert photos, and get some Christmas presents, and yeah. beat the Black Friday yeah. rush. And I understand from this article a little bit better what you guys have there. She's usually black and white photos. Yes. You're the color photos. She's black and white, mostly on film. So she has her own dark room oh. in her house, and she's developing these pictures herself. Oh, that's so, so cool. So yeah, most of hers are color, most of them are black and white, most of mine are color. Mm -hmm. And they just, they really complement each other nice. The 50 years, and we have a lot of the same artists and stuff, so you can see them the way they work. Is it open daily? Um, no, it's not. We're going to be there this coming Saturday, and then on the 15th we're going to close, which is the big closing, Okay. Um, which will be 5 So five, just two more Saturdays, nine. Yes. 9 to 5. Uh, noon to oh, 4. Noon to 4 on Saturday. Noon to 4 on Saturday. And then the closing Friday the 15th, 5 to 9. 5 to 9. Yes. Oh, okay, so very limited yes, hours we're almost coming done. up. Almost finished. Okay, yep. so 12 to 4 this Saturday. Yes. Um, and then five to, nine, uh, five on the to nine on the 15th. Friday the 15th. And okay. Friday, third Friday there is a big deal. They call it third Friday. And a couple thousand people show up at this building, which is the old American Greetings building. Oh, where yeah. Where they did okay. all the creative stuff for all the cards and everything. Oh, it's a giant yeah. building, a couple hundred thousand square feet. Wow. And there's 50 art galleries or so, and people come through there every third Friday. So it's a good time to come out there. There's food trucks in the, in the parking lot and stuff. It's a lot of fun. Oh, that's really nice. So I was talking to this guy at this new gallery in Cam's yeah. Corners. Yeah, yeah. And Tell us about the cat he's stuff. He's like, well, we do all your <laughs> art galleries every year of concert photos. Why don't you do one of your cat photos? Fantastic. I never, never thought of that before. And uh, so that's what we're doing. It's going to open the first Saturday in December, which is the 7th, um, at a place called the Samo Gallery, S-A-Y-M-O. It's 162nd in Lorraine in Cam's Corners. Cam's so right Corners. So right at West 162nd in Lorraine. There's right by Fairview Hospital. There's a Dunkin' Donuts right across the street, which is perfect. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have a bunch of my kitten crazy cat photos on display. We're going to have the photo studio with the backdrops. So as we're doing this segment, they're going to put in some pictures that I've taken. So you'll see some photos that are taken with the studio as we're talking. And then we're also going to have Santa there, a guy who's done Santa for Kitten Crazy a bunch of times, has a real beard. Kids can come yank on it. He loves it. Um, <laughs> and he'll be there so you could come in. You could put your cat or small dog in the photo studio, get some pictures, walk over to Santa, cool get some family that? pictures with Santa, and it's all in the same place. Got to do that. So gotta that's going to that. open Saturday, December 7th, if you're up north around us. Um, it's going to be the perfect time for you to come with the family, get some pictures with Santa, right. buy a cat photo or two, and, right. uh, and support Kitten Crazy. So all, we got the, two all the days proceeds in a are row. going to Kitten Crazy, by the way. So yes. Everything comes here. Yes, two days in a row. We've got yes. a Santa, we've got Joe's Santa, and we've got another Santa. And yours is so cool because you have a chance to go there. Uh, do you want to show a few of those photos, or do you want to wait? No, I'll show them. Okay, so these have been taken over... The last five years. The last five years. Over the last couple months, I went into every photo shoot that I've done for Kitten Crazy over five years. And you've years. done a I went lot. Through, I, looked at, I looked at every photo, probably 3,000 photos of cats, and I picked out about my 100 favorites. 100. And uh, that's what we're going to have on the walls at the same old gallery. So. That's so cool. And and we're going to put some up here, too, at Kitten Crazy, yes. I hear. Yes. I can't we wait. have extras for Kitten Crazy as well, so they'll awesome. be here today. Joe, we'll thank this. you so much for everything oh, that you thank do. You. We're buddies. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thanks for watching, and hopefully oh, you yeah. can come to um, one or both of the Santa and functions all the photos that we at, have. All the photos of the same old gallery, as, as Debbie just mentioned, will be for sale. Yeah. So you can buy a photo for the house, and uh, all the proceeds come right here to, yes. to this amazing yeah. place. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, so if you, if you buy a photo show. or if you just donate some money, of course, you get a picture in the studio or a picture with Santa. And I'll make sure that I make all those photos available to everybody that shows up. That's awesome. So watch our Facebook, watch our website for the details, and uh, we'll see you next time.